You mentioned your brother. Um, I, I believe he's around five years older uh, th than you. When you were head coach of the Pistons, and he's been a longtime basketball coach, you hired him as your assistant coach. How special was it for you to be able to do that? No, he, my brother can coach. Um, you know, he has a wealth of knowledge. He was successful in his own way. He was an NBA head coach as well at one yeah, point, right? Yeah, and he's coached all over the world. His his path was a lot more difficult than mine. I was, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. He's had to work for everything that he's gotten. But um, he was always able to be real with me. Um, he's bright as hell. Uh, and I, and I think, you know, when we won a championship, not, I not only shared it with him, you know, I shared it with Mike Woodson, Dave Hanners, Phil Ford, all the people that ever coached with me were part of that. But uh, I think it, my mom had a little twinkle in her eye and my dad probably had a big smile on his face. Your mom lived till 106 years old. Uh, your uh, brother, you, you once said, um, you know, your brother was actually the Pistons head coach de decades ago uh, when you were the Denver Nuggets head coach. And you said the most uncomfortable you've ever been is coaching against your brother. Uh, why is that? Well, in some regards, um, one, I was proud that, you know, I think we're the first brother combination that ever coached against each other in the NBA. But it's like coaching against a Danny Manning or a John Calipari um, or Mo Cheeks or a Greg Popovich, people that meant a lot to you in your life. I never enjoy looking down the bench and having to coach against somebody that has been a big part of my life except for the fact that I'm proud to have an opportunity to do that. So I only want to coach against people in the NBA Finals or the NCAA Championships that have been a part of my life. Then I know we both have had some success.